Hello and welcome everyone. And there's no camera. <laughs> it's the same with every single live stream I've done so far. Something is not working. Let me fix this webcam. Come on now. Come on. I've got to be able to. There we go. Let's try this. Hey, there we are. Oh, I've still got my cloak on. I feel like Frodo Baggins tonight. I've got my cloak on. So hi, everyone. Happy Sunday indeed, Teacher Sarah. And welcome to the live stream. I'd done everything right up until I went live there. I had sound tests done already. It was all done. And then I clicked live and it said, cannot get your stuff from Twitch. Log out, log back in again, which is why I'm just a little over. And then my camera wasn't working. So honestly, one of these days I'm going to master this technology and it's, all, it's going to be all good. However, uh, I'm really, really happy to be here and we're going to be following up today's uh, live stream with, or sorry, last week's live stream. Uh, we're on a city builder theme and as you can see above us, uh, we have got Age of Mythology for you this week, which is super exciting. Um, I have just come back from Finland where, man... I mean, the, the Finnish education, since we're, this is an education live stream. Hi, Chris. How are you doing, my friend? Um, because this is an education live stream, I feel we can just have a brief chat about Finland. You know, I was there last week. If you watched the thing, I went and got my little groceries and did my thing. Um, man, I, I can't even tell you that the, the Finnish education system is world leading. Like, not just outwardly, but inwardly. It, it, I can't even tell you what I complete difference it is to almost every other education system I've had the, the, the pleasure to visit or work in uh, for a whole variety of reasons for, from the fact that all education for everyone at any time no matter what is free to free school meals for all students of any age ever to the fact that their town planning is done with schools at the heart so instead of you know Traditional towns would be built around a commercial centre and then outwards, or industry and outwards, or they build a school first, and then outwards <laughs> comes the uh, the housing and the commercial and the industry and the industrial that comes with it. And the they they build for percentage of population growth, starting with schools. It's just it's insane. I mean, I could go on and on and on. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, every country has problems, including Finland, but, man, have they got their education wrapped up. Like, they really do. Teachers are paid to be trained as teachers. You don't have to apply for a grant. You don't come out hundreds of thousands of pounds in debt. You are paid to become a teacher when you choose that's what you want to do with your life. Uh, I, I could go on. It's, it's, it's incredible, and I would highly recommend if anyone... Uh, has, has ever thought, oh, I'd love to go and visit another education system and, 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 you know, find out what's going on there. Start with Finland and then work backwards from there. I mean, the only way is down, <laughs> I'm telling you now, which sounds terrible for other education systems that are out there. But truly, I mean, as an immediate comparison to the UK or an immediate comparison to what I know of the, the American education system. And I was with Americans who were just gobsmacked by this stuff. So, yeah, just just incredible. So... Get yourselves out into Finland um, and see what is going on over there because it's it's just another world, like truly another world. Um, Mr. Savage is with us. All right, Savage. Um, so sticking with the theme of uh, city builders, we are going to have a look at my favourite of many years, which is Age of Mythology. Now, it has, tr it has changed drastically since I was uh, originally playing this, and it has changed to include, as you can see, the, um, the Chinese um, mythology, and it also has a few others that I can't quite remember. But we're going to be exploring what this game looks like and plays like, and it is my favourite, because although... History is a very strong topic, like we've done the last City Builders we did, Age of Empires, um, for example, we showed you all three of those last week. I think there's much more scope for mythology in things like literacy, uh, history, of course, there's also um, uh, just, just generally the whole primary school uh, side of things learning about the greeks and the norse and the egyptians and i mean quite a lot of the minecraft projects i get involved in are exactly that vikings and the norse mythology uh, or i mean we've built toy boxes which have been hugely popular in schools like the egyptian toy box and so for me age of mythology was always uh, the go-to in the very early days 
And what you're looking at above is a reconstruction of that. Now, let me see. I just want to see why I can't. I'm on the app on just so that I can check the chat. And for some reason, ah, oh, there we go. Welcome to the chat room. The chat room is now on. So I can now see it. It's all working. Brilliant. And I can see we've got seven people in with us already. Um, I know that Amanda Picard says she can't make tonight, which is a shame. So a uh, little puddle over here is going to miss her. Um, for those of you who are already on the Discord, and I will put the Discord link in the chat. In fact, I should have a button for that, shouldn't I? Anyway, I wonder if there's a button for that. Let's see if we can set that up right now. If I go into source, uh, no, no, sorry. I'm going to go to my thing. I'm going to say that button there needs to be a... I wonder if it can go to chat. I'm just trying to see if it goes to scene, record, source, uh, text, Twitter, control center, Twitch studio. I wonder if it can go select a scene. Uh, and now I don't think it adds to chat. I'll maybe look at it another time. What I'm hoping is that on my little stream deck that I've got, this little, uh, oh, I can't pull it because of the cable, but I've got a little stream deck where you just press a button and the magic happens. Watch this. Uh, I'm just going to press uh, this button. Three, two, one. And this happens, and then the chat comes up and we can all have a chat. We can also press this button. And now you just lose me entirely. Um, uh, but if we hit that. And so the great thing about the Steam Deck is it's a beautiful little thing with these light up buttons that you can put any kind of like picture in or text in or something so I just have my live I have my live with camera live without camera break time chat only that kind of stuff and then all I do is I just lean over and I press the buttons um, instead of minimizing the screen going back to screen uh, uh, stream labs clicking using my mouse to, it's just it's all done there so I don't even have to have this up in the background so I'm learning about streaming and I'm learning about how it all kind of falls together and I'm really enjoying it. But what I don't think I can do in this case is, oh yeah, chat message, I can. Right, let's see if this works. So if I put that in there and I'm gonna say title, the title's gonna be Discord, um, Discord invite. Right, let's see if this works. We're doing this live. It says add an account, uh, authorized to Twitch, yes. <coughs> That's exciting. Your account is now set up. You may close this window. Ooh. And then we're going to say, we're going to say, um, discord.gg forward slash play matters. So let's try this. I'm just going to say, join our game based learning community discord. Uh, and let's see if this works in the chat. Actually, I'm going to say join the Play Matters. Let's get that right. Join the Play Matters. Game-based learning community Discord. Okay, ready? I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to say that is done. Okay, that should be done. So if I now press this button, what happens in the chat? Oh, it works. Hey, the ancient salmon is in with us, but it works. Look at that. So now I've set up a button and all I need to do is lean over and go, hey, press the button and you'll get the, um, so if you haven't joined our Discord, please do join our Discord. Please also, if you are new to the channel at all, because I can see that we've now got 13 people in with us. If you're new to the channel at all, please, uh, subscribe and like to Twitch, um, and we can uh, we can go from there. Uh, for those who haven't joined us before, and perhaps many of you have, but if you haven't joined us before, uh, my name's Stephen Reed at Stephen Reed Edu on Twitter, and I am a game-based learning lead for Microsoft, and I have spent 20 years in the education field doing game-based learning, and I'm really just using this platform to show some of that magic, uh, how games can be used in education for uh, curriculum, social and emotional learning, and career development. That's my three 
my three pillars. So, without further ado, let's crack on with Age of Mythology. And if you are in the chat, let us know. Say hi. Um, let us know you're here. We like to get uh, involved with the community. And I'll just minimise that and we'll get started. All right. So, last week I showed you Age of Empires. And I showed you that not only can we have like that whole single player and multiplayer piece, but we can also have this nice editor. We're going to come back to the editor in a second, but for the moment, I want to click on uh, single player. And then we're going to go for a, you can load scenarios, you can do a learn to play, but I'm going to go for a random map. And in this one, what's really nice about this game is that you get to choose a major god. And if we click on that major god selection, you can see that we have the Greek gods. You can choose a random or you can choose, and I'll, we'll, we'll take you through this just now. Hi, Manon. So good to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, we've got Egyptians, so we can go Ra, Isis, or Set. We've got the Norse, Thor, Odin, Loki, the Atlanteans, Kronos, Oranos, or Gaia, or the Chinese, uh, Fuxi, uh, Nuwa, and Shenong. Now, what then happens is, I'm just going to click on Zeus just now, which we're already on, and in clicking on Zeus you can see that what happens is, is as you enter, uh, if you're in the Archaic Age, you get a lightning bolt that you can use once to strike from the sky, killing any single unit. You can bolt a Titan, but it will not kill him. You can also get Pegasus. It's a mythological unit, which is basically a flying scout. And so already we're deep into the mythology. We're like, oh, what's Pegasus? And we can go and look at Jason and the Argonauts, or we can maybe read some of uh, um, uh, Reardon's stuff and... Um, and, and see what that looks like, you know, the uh, uh, Percy Jackson um, series. As you move through the ages, though, you then get to choose one of two gods. In this case, we can choose Athena as we go into the classical age, uh, who then gives us either restoration, so a target, uh, target a location to heal the units and repair buildings, siege weapons, etc., or the Minotaur, and the Minotaur, sorry. Or we can go Hermes, god of messengers, and we can either cease fire, which is where you target anywhere on the map to prevent every player from fighting. Their soldiers will just put down their swords and stop for a while. Or you can have a centaur, which is a mythological unit, of course, a fast-moving cavalry archer. Uh, we then get Apollo versus Dionysus uh, or Dionysus. We get Hephaestus and Hera, which is, which is brilliant. Um, excellent. So Teacher Sarah says you can attest that all your students know their myths. They will love this then. Um, with Egypt, we start with the uh, rain. Target anywhere to make all villagers on the map gather more from farms faster. Then we can go to Bast. We choose between Bast and Ta. We choose between Hathor and Sekhmet and Horus versus Osiris. Um, and they give you some really interesting things. This one here, the rock, a mythological unit, a flying transport that has no attack but, and can only be attacked by ranged units. That was, I think it was Jason and the Argonauts where the giant rock, it was, like, it was a buzzard, uh, not a buzzard, a vulture. And it's, it was sent with a cage and it landed on the balcony and then she, she, the woman came out as if she was sleepwalking and she sleepwalked into the cage and then the buzzard took her away to the creature that was in the cave. Uh, you know, old mythological stories. You can also have shifting sands. You can have the wadget. You can have mummies. It's really fantastic. Let's get to Thor now. So with Thor, um, we've got, uh, you start with a dwarven mine. So select a location on uh, on the map to create a new gold mine. So you get a good head start with gold when other teams perhaps don't. Um, you can then choose between Forseti and Freya, uh, Bragi and Skadi, Baldur and Tyr. And they give you things like Fenrar, the wolf, um, or Fimble Winter, which is basically it turns the whole map to winter. And other units, especially against something like the Egyptians, they'll struggle, right? Um, you also have the Battle Boar that comes. That technically should be Freya's, but you do get Valkyries, Forest Fires. Now, things like Forest Fires come in handy when you go someone like, when your enemy is someone like Gaia, because Gaia's opening gambit is a forest. You can select a location to create a forest. So imagine thinking, oh, I'm just going to create a forest and have my people chop all of this down so that as Gaia, uh, Mother Nature, if you like, I get the benefit of having trees ahead of time. Meanwhile, by the classical age, your enemy has gone, ah, no, we're going to burn those down, thanks. And they set a forest fire. So you're always looking at which god benefits 
uh, the the, um, the battle with um, so speaking of uh, we went into Loki didn't we yeah we did so yeah Loki gives you um, the Nidog frost giants uh, you also get walking woods so the trees come alive uh, you also get things like uh, Einarhar um, and also trolls the trolls throw rocks at people and stuff so we're going to get into this in a minute but we'll go back to Gaia Gaia is mother nature so Gaia is going to give you things like Tartarian gates lampades spiders layers uh, carnivorous plants ca- uh, Caladria which are flying kind of like almost like Valkyries uh, the Stymphalian bird now these all have if you go and research all of these they all exist like Behemoth already exists and the Argus already exists if we look at Oranos uh, you get things like Promethean and you get things like Vortexes and Mana Wars and uh, what else have we got in there? Satires. And if you go Kronos, you get things like Chaos, which is just a series of really hard warriors. Automatons, uh, the Heka Gigantes. It's kind of like a mix of them there. And then if we go to the Chinese, you get, um, let's have a look at this. You start with the Year of the Goat. Select a location to spawn a herd of goats. So you get a head start in meat. And then you choose between Huang Di and Sun Wukong. I would always go Sun Wukong because then you get the Monkey King, who is one of my... If anybody has watched me live stream before, I've probably mentioned Sun Wukong a thousand times. Um, the Great Journey. Target anywhere to increase the speed of all of your units. So you can see, as we move through all of these, that each of the gods gives you a very unique... Uh, way of um, going to war but not only that if we're thinking on education terms um, you're talking about the students being able to choose uh, what it is that they want to study who it is they want to be what it is they want to delve into one of the projects we did with with this a few years ago was we got the students to assume the role of one of the gods so one was Loki one was Odin one was Set and then they made their own they went off, they researched all of the stuff, they created a folder, which was like a research folder of what it would be like to have been lucky and controlled, in this case, the battle boars and the walking woods and the kraken, to be able to summon the kraken, etc. And and then, uh, so that was, there was a load of literacy in there, there was a lot of research and stuff in there, and then we played the game, and they had to play, they had to stick to their god. And it was a whole, it was almost an esport to see whose god was greatest Um, and actually I can tell you that the winner was Isis. Isis won with her plague of locusts and her um, deadly ancestors and her leviathans and scorpion people. She won. So I'm going to leave it to you as my watchers today. Who shall we demo uh, to begin with before I go into the editor side of things? Who do you want to see? I'm just going to give you a few moments to pop that up there. I'll keep an eye on the chat and you can choose Zeus, Hades, Isis, Odin, Kronos, Fuji, whoever you want to be. Or we could just select random Greek. If you do that, it gives you a random. And I love the thunder. It's probably too loud on the chat, right? Um, But anyway, I'm just going to leave that in the chat. It says, it says connected to chat, but it's not, I don't think. Uh, let me just jump back to chat and see if that's working. There we go. Hey, Arch, M16. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. How are you? Gaia, okay. Sarah wants to see Gaia. Any more takers for Gaia, or are we going to go elsewhere? (coughs) Let's see. If you haven't already, give us a follow and give us a subscribe on the Twitch. Um, So you'll get an automatic, uh, hey, we're live again next time rather than perhaps finding us through Twitter or Facebook. Oh, Manon wants to see Gaia as well. Everybody wants Mother Nature. All right. All right. Going, going, gone. Right. Let's do this. Okay. So we're going to click on Gaia and we're going to click OK. And then we get to choose a map. Now, there are many, many, many maps. There never used to be this many, but there are pages and pages and pages of maps. To make this easy, some of them are like capture the flags, etc. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I used to love Jutenheim. So we're going to play on Jutenheim. Uh, Okay. We're going to make it giant. 
we're going to go easy just for the purposes we're going to do supremacy supremacy just means how do you win if you're going to play a um if we're going to play a see you soon for the session i'm confused about who arch is then reveal yourself mystery man or woman uh supremacy conquest lightning uh oh latif's with us good evening latif you and i need to chat tomorrow let's make sure we do that um, I'm on, we just need to make it happen. Deathmatch or treaty. And all it means is, I mean, conquest just means you defeat the, the, the uh, what does that mean when you go to conquest? Uh, conquest, settlements or wonders only. Conquest is defeating all enemies. Death, uh, oh yeah, so victory. Supremacy is victory by conquest. Deathmatch starts with high resources and lightning plays at high speed. Eh, hey, Arch? Oh, uh global minecraft mentor oh so you're going to see me on monday for the sesh sean's with us i imagine that's what the session is that you mean wonderful uh, so we're going to put on conquest not that it matters because we're actually not going to be playing that long um normal visibility means that the map is not revealed um entirely you get that fog of war and i'm going to stick to that for the moment day or night we're going to say none uh, which just means that it's always daytime. Otherwise, and Minecrafters, you'll be familiar with that concept. Um, hey, all right, Charles. Yes, wonderful, Charles. Good to see you, my friend, and thank you so much for joining. Um, we're gonna, we're not going to put that on. And in Titans, I'm going to say no Titans. We're probably not going to get that far anyway, but Titans kind of ruin the game. They're like the Titans of that era, and they come out of the ground, and they're huge, and they smash everything out of the way, and they kind of ruin it. So we're just going to quick start. Here we go. And we're playing Fuji. Now, in this particular instance, Herr Joes. we've got a little guy who is going to Yoshi. go wandering. And I'm just going to tell him to go, what is he? He is, a, he always an oracle. Mark. So what he can do is he can, uh, we can build another oracle. A hero scout line of sight grows rapidly when standing still. So if we leave him, his line of sight just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, we can also Bore. take this little person who's a villager. Who's that? That's another one. Yoshi. So we're going to move our oracles out. Um, let me know if the sound is too much. I don't know how the sound is. is but um. Now, with Gaia in particular, you'll notice this lush green that happens around. That's a lovely lush green that you can build on and other people can't. So... Sometimes the enemy, especially if you're playing multiplayer, the enemy will build their buildings right next to you. In this case, they can't. Most now, intim. I want to go and get um, some trees. And we can zoom in and we can see if we just... Oh, is it that? Oh, I don't think. Hang on. I need to go to options. And I want to go to player options. And I want to see if I can rotate the map. Let's see. Unlock the camera. Lock mouse to window. That's fine. Allow camera rotation. There we are. Okay. Which means we should... There we are. We should be able to move around just like we did before and see what that looks like. Now, I said earlier that we have an archaic age um, power. That was our one up at the very, very top here. And it was um, grow more trees. So what I'm going to do is, down the front here, I am going to... And you'll see here that we've just added a power which means that over time, trees will grow, which is just beautiful, right? I mean, I have plenty of trees, but ultimately what I would love to do is uh, have more because I want to get a head start. And to get that head start, I'm going to have to build more villages, uh, villagers. But to build those villagers, I'm going to need food. So remember in all the other games that we've been talking about with city builders in particular, it's about resource management. It's about understanding systems, which I think a lot of people overlook when it comes to the educational value. Um, right. These kinds of games are fantastic Mark. for system management and helping students to understand Hello, how resource uh, structures work. Also. At the very minimum, I mean. So what I'm going to do is, as these villagers come out, I'm going to get them to kill cows. There's also berry bushes up there. I'm going to get the next ones to go for the berry bushes. And what that means is, you can see the characters being built uh, down here, 36, 37, 38%. Um, I don't think you can see my mouse. That's interesting. I'm on the live stream and... Oh, no, you are seeing my mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. 
Uh, okay, so the next one's gone to get berries in a minute. That's uh, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. Off we go. There we are. All right. And so as that happens, food comes out, and then food up here allows us. It's 125 food. Now, for other villagers, for other, uh, say, the Egyptians, it's cheaper. You don't need as much food. Absolutely, Barry. Yes, it is. And boom to you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'll just pop another chat uh, piece out there. Check this out, Barry. I don't know if you were in earlier, but I've made a button, a magic button, and when I press it... Ta-da! That happens in the chat. Play Matters. Join the Play Matters game-based learning live, uh, sorry, um, community Discord. I've actually spelt learning wrong. I'll go back and fix that. But we did it on the stream tonight, which I thought was really neat. Uh, now, you can see here that what we've done is over here, we've revealed uh, more um, space. You can see the scoring up in the top right. He's actually catching up with me at the moment. He's on 391. I'm on 412. Um, so I need to start moving a lot, lot more than I am. But that's okay. I'm also going to put more trees up here. Thank you for the follow. Let's see who's actually followed us. I didn't see who that was, but somebody followed us. Oh, Michelle. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll make some more buttons, actually. We can have some chat buttons that we just go beep, 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 and things happen. It's very exciting. Um, I love it. Right. Now, there's plenty of deer over here. Uh, and there's another town centre that we can take to expand our territory. Um, but at the moment, I just want to get to a point where you understand how the God thing works. So you can see down here that we've got 15 out of 15. We can't actually grow anymore until Chief? we build houses. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to build a manor. And what we'll do is we'll just select that manor and we'll build it Ma there. Now, my people don't move very fast, as you can see. Um, whereas in other... Uh, I think the Norse move faster. Actually, the Norse... If I'm right in saying the Norse don't even have to go back to base, or maybe it's us. Some people have to dump their food, whereas I think the, um, the Atlanteans don't. Um, there Fair we go. Jokes. So we've got a house, which allows us to go up. Now we can have up to 35. And actually, while I've got that person idle, I might as well build another one. There we go. So we're going to build a second manor just to make sure that we've got enough people there. I'm, food's coming up nicely. I'm going to have them going over to there. And, and don't worry about running out of like berries and stuff because we can either find more or we can ultimately build Hello, more farms. Muck. Uh, we haven't done farming yet. I want my guys. Where's my little guys? There we go. Yoshi. This little oracle. Uh, oh, there's, a, there's a, 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 the nose of the sphinx which gives you more hit points for your building. So you can find these little relics. Um, I'll just zoom in on that relic. You can find relics. And it's funny because it's like the finger of Osiris or the nose of the Sphinx or whatever, and you can claim them. And it's really cool Yoshi. because I get the kids to investigate them as well. I'm like, the nose They're of the close. Sphinx? How did it get all the way up here? And then there's all these sort of like mythological stories about how the nose of the Sphinx fell off and got taken to um, Most the land of the Norse or whatever. I'm going to get this guy to go on. Um, now, these people, you'll see here that they've now become idle. And so they're Yuji. just kind of waiting around. Yuji. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them to build a... I can't do farms yet. <clears throat> I'm going to have to build a temple. And I can't build a temple without... Oh, no, I can. I've just got enough gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this temple. Uh, right. Yuji. There. And we get all those people to build a temple. So I can move quite quickly. Uh, right. Buildings get upgrades as well. So, for example, I've clicked on this. We can build oracles from there, which give us more scouting power, or we can do channels in which citizens move faster. I kind of want that, so I'm going to get two of these people on gold, and I'm going to send these people over here to kill deer. And he has almost overtaken me, so at this point... Now, if I get enough food, I can upgrade, and food's about to come in the form of these people killing deer. We're going to need more people as well on um, wood, but we'll sort that out in a minute. Okay. 
There we go. They're going to get food. That's going to work out. As soon as we hit 400 food, we can upgrade and we can choose a minor god. And this is the part I'm really excited about because, oh, he's two points behind me. We could be in trouble, folks. We could be in trouble. You see the grasses. Every time we build something, that grass expands. So Gaia has this really nice Mother Nature expansion. Okay, we've got the food. So now I'm going to choose. So the two people I can choose between is Oceanus. Uh, who's generally Titan, God of Water. His improvements help your infantry. And I can have a Carnivorous Plant, a Servant, a Caldaria, Bite of the Shark, and a Weightless Mace. Or I can have a Leto, whose improvements aid the Automatons. So we can have Automatons, a Spider's Lair, Hephaestus' Revenge, which is... Uh, gives the automatons more hit points and also lets uh, Leto summon Hephaestus to harden the steel of your automatons so they get more armor. Um, again, I'm going to put it up to you. I'm going to put this out there. Do we want Leto or do we want Oceanus? It's entirely up to you. We've got time. We've got time. Uh, just waiting on the chat it's connecting to the chat let's see in the meantime I'm going to go back and just make sure that we're collecting resources I might even put these trees down now there's a reason I'm putting these trees where I'm putting them and you'll notice why in a minute um, should we get attacked Yuji also, I'm also going to build on top of this old town centre that was ruined. Um, so just putting that out there, are we doing, uh, let's go back here, are we going to do Leto or are we going to do, um, so Barry, Barry says Leto, Barry wants spiders, layers and automatons. Okay. Let's do it. Let's choose it for Barry. Leto. Okay. So now we've got Leto, what's going to happen is that's going to take time. It hasn't happened yet. It's now at 12, 13, 14%. So we haven't upgraded yet. We need time to do it. But these people are building this second um, second base. The reason I'm putting the trees here is that soldiers can't go through units. Enemy units can't go through forestry. And so what I'm really doing is I'm building a wall of forestry along here, which means they'll be, they'll be forced to go round to the left or round to the right, and it makes it easier for me to defeat my base. Uh, sorry, defend my base. And so, for me, as a player, I'm automatically thinking ahead. I'm automatically trying to do more with the units that I have and the scenery that I have, etc. And that's where strategy really comes into it. Uh, we're there. So now we've got more to offer. So if I go into here, I'm just gonna, I can't actually get myself another builder. I'm gonna get myself a builder over right. here. Go for. One of these builders can now build, uh, what have we got? Farms. And it's farms that's going to be critical for me to survive. So I'm going to put a farm over here. Yuji. Yuji. I've also got an automaton from my temple. Yuji. So there's my, little, my first little Ma. automaton marching around. Yuji. Ma. Oslo. And I can also put down some spiders layers. Now, I don't want to put spiders... Uh, I don't want to put spider layers down too soon because they don't last that long. The spiders are evoked, they fight, and then they disappear after a while. So you don't want to waste them, unlike the trees, which last forever. You don't want to waste them. So I'm just moving all my scouts south because I want to see where the Chinese are at this point. The sound effects are lovely, incidentally. And then here's these things that we talked about earlier. So with the right amount of gold and worship, we can improve the automaton's armor. So I'm going to do that because I want my little automatons to be my main army. I'm also going to build, if I can, five more of them. So if anything comes my way, they want to watch themselves. In the meantime, I'm going to plant more forest here. And so the forest becomes a natural block. These guys are getting me plenty of food. What I can also do is, now that I'm in the second age, you'll notice that I can upgrade. So this little tower here, which is ultimately just a watchtower right now, can now be upgraded to have signal fires, which means their line of sight for all buildings is greater, but also a watchtower, which allows your towers to attack with arrows. So I'm going to upgrade all my towers. 
Any form of defense at this point is important. Yuji, ma. They're just... Did I just lose? Oh, he's just told me to cease expanding into neutral territory. Yuji, Bureg, I don't think so. Shkopo Osto. Here we go. Bureg, Yuji. Let's give them, and let's actually do that as well. Okay. There we go. So you'll see that my towers have now changed. The towers have changed nicely over here. All right. So we've got that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and see what else our people can do. So let's get ourselves a couple more villagers. We should really have as many villagers as possible. My little guy over here is farming. Look at him. Look, tilling the soil. La -dee da. I feel like we're doing all right. We're all we're almost at a thousand points, and we have a little army as well. Now, when my villagers come out, I'm going to start focusing on building things. And then once I've kind of showed you, we'll get through this concept, and then I'll move to the editor and show you just the sheer richness of this game, because that's when we can really start to play with. We're not just stuck to Gaia. We can do we can do all sorts Go of things. Hey, Kays, my friend, welcome, welcome, welcome. So what I want to do at this point is I want to build a barracks and I'm just going to change the barracks and put it muck there I'm going to swivel it around I'm also going to build a muck um, stables so I want a stable account oh no it's a counter barracks oh they don't have a stables interesting I'm probably going to need another manor at some point Scopos. so I'll take this guy and I'll just build another manor oh, there. And another one Mark. there. That gives me a little town over there. I used to play a friend of mine on this. Uh, his name is Vinny. Um, a good friend of mine back in Scotland. And he used to build his base randomly. Like he'd be like a house here, a house there, a house there. A tower, a tower. Barracks was up there. whatever. And I used to call him Willy Nilly Vinny. Because his bases were terrible to attack. Because there was no structure to them. But then I realized that he actually had the right idea because when I built, he knew where my power centers were. He knew if he wanted to reduce my population cap just to go to my towns because all my towns were in the same place. So actually, willy-nilly is actually quite a good way of, a good way of doing it. Um, what else are we going to do? We're going to build... Now, we've got no water, so there's no point in doing that, but we can build an economic guild. That's a lovely little building, actually. Let's build that over here for protection. No, it's going to be up near the farms, actually. Mark. Let's build it up near the farms. And we'll see what that looks like when it's done. In the meantime, I want to get my barracks and I want to start upgrading my infantry to medium infantry. I want my archers to be upgraded. And then I'm going to build some more millows. Down here, we've got our little automaton army. Yuji, Yuji. Awesome. I thought automatons were Greek, awesome. but I know that they've tried to kind of, in order to make the... Um, Yes, utilitarian... Is that what you call it? Utilitarian case. Case is the same. Case and I play Conan Exiles together. And when I build a base, it's for the purpose... I have pots and I have little fences that hold my sheep in. And I take great... I go to great lengths to build everything so it has a little neat purpose. Case builds anything everywhere. And then... Because he just needs to build it so that it functions so he can beat the game. I'm like, no, 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 no. We need to give right. people homes. <laughs> okay, let's more farms. We might as well have farms now. Edge lost. Muck. And then what Yuji, we can do is muck. we can get these people. Yuji. There we go. So now we've got our farms in there. We've got one builder, builder over there as well. We haven't got enough wood for a farm. Uh, town center's not going to... Oh, an armory. That might be the next next thing to buy, but we need wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Most this woman Bullet. and this guy Most on uh, wood. And then I'm going to plant the last of my... Oh, I don't have any magic trees left, which means they can come through there. Well, it's like the hot gates, isn't it? What we'll do is we'll mm -hmm. just ply our warries Mark. in here, including our little more millows. We'll just get Mark. them in there and see... Reduce their numbers. Oh, counter cavalry. Infantry, good against cavalry. Counter archers, good against archers. And counter infantry, good against infantry. This is nice. Okay. 
Come on, scouts. Hey, Let's go see if we can Osto. Hey, spot these Chinese Osto. here. Yoshi. Osto. Plenty of gold going around. We're going to run out of gold soon up here. In fact, we have. And that is a problem. So let's go and get uh, gold. Where's the nearest gold? It's got to be there, look. So I'll tell them to go over there. Bullring. Muck. Two people here as well. Now, those two people could be building a... Over here, we're going to build a... Yuji. Blacksmith. Now, if Or an armory. Look at that. What? How lovely is that? What a lovely building. <sighs> Love it. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean that. What's going on? Oh, yeah. <coughs> I need to go back to my original angle. That's it. Eventually, you get into a habit of having a set angle. Here, Joe's. angle. Uh, yeah, we'll take that one. So, trees are coming down nicely. We'll get a few more infantry. We're going to need more houses eventually because we're... Well, we can have 110. Might go for a raid soon. I am beating him. I am up here. You can see that I have, do have the numbers. Boom. <sighs> Osto. Boreg and Osto. I don't even know what they're saying. Right. With enough food, and we will be there with food shortly, we can go up to another age. Another god age. I'm going to reinforce my walls. I'm going to give them signal fires. Uh, I don't want any archer. Oh, now. I can now go and get copper weapons, copper armor, and copper shields. But we are going to need 200 food for that. And so now you're having to make choices. Because now you're saying, do I want strong soldiers? Therefore, I'll spend my food and my wood on that. Or do I want to take the same resources and upgrade my gods? Um, and so you're now making choices about that. I can now do a plough, an axe, and a pickaxe. And I can adopt hunting dogs and also animal husbandry. Which doesn't really make sense for me to plough much into Ooh, that because I haven't got many animals to husband. Is that the right terminology? Um, oh, look, there's a big rock. I don't Ooh, think anybody can get past. That's interesting. That means there must be some sort of gate system in the geography. Bullrig. Let's head over here Ooh, and see what this guy's saying. That's what I love about Anaheim. It creates these rock formations that, you, that then channel the enemy. Okay, once we're ready, and we need 800 food, I'm going to go for... We've got quite a nice little army here. I wonder if I should move them down. See, I tend to play defensively, but for the purposes of the stream, we'll go wandering, shall we? Yoji. Yoji. Mark. See, for all, know, for all I know, he might be coming to the right. Almost got enough food to upgrade, and then we'll get other Yuji. gods. Mark. Look at these guys. Charge! The marmillos are actually quite cool. Mark. All right. You know what? I think he'll send archery for me first. So I'm going to build them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, there we are. We can now do an extra god. So we're going to go in here. Now, we can choose um, Thea, who is... Her improvements help your cavalry. And she gives us uh, Hesperide, Hesperides, which is... Or Hesperides, which is select a location to create a tree that will allow you to train Dryads. Ooh, now Dryads. We can also have the Stymphalian bird. So that gives us air support, right? And then what else can we do? Thea increases the line of sight of your human soldiers. Very handy. She also steals the secrets of Poseidon and gives your cavalry more speed. And she also um, gives me the Lance of Stone. Improves Contarius hero attack, whatever that is. And otherwise we can do Traitor, where you can target an enemy unit and convert it to your own. Or Behemoth. Or the Horns of Consecration. 
faster favor, the male of Orichalcos. These are all real things in mythology, apparently. You want to go Rhea? Who said Rhea? Barry, come on now. Um, and Rhea's gift reduces the favor of cost of all your mythological improvements. Barry, I'm inclined to want to go for air support. The Stymphalian bird is actually very, very handy. I might have to disagree with you on that one. I'm sorry, my friend, but it is going to have to be the other. I mean, if we're going to go for victory, we really ought to go for victory. <laughs> but good to know if I was ever playing you, what you would choose. See my strategy. Okay, let's go, let's go. What else can we do? So we've chosen them. They'll be ready in a minute. I kind of want the Dryads as well, because it's beautiful. And Dryads are actually really, really cool units. I haven't seen the Chinese. We're at the bottom of the map. And I haven't seen the Chinese. That suggests he's in this bottom corner. I'm going to head this way. I might regret this. What I need to do is stop. Now, there's lots of different ways of stopping the enemy. I am far too defensive, right? You would be in there. But look, I've got my little um, my little guys. I'm going to take them over this way as a kind of a counter-attack. Watch this. Ah, there we go, look. We can upgrade. We can now take cavalry. Oh, I don't have enough food. Anyway, I'll get more food. Food will come. And we can also have archers, heavy archers. Uh, okay, let's see. Yuji. Got a small force Yuji. down here. Oh, I've run out of room for people. So I have to build more houses. So we'll get this little person Yuji. here to build more manors. Yuji. I can only build five. So that's me reached my absolute max. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take... Oh, there we go. There's my bird. A Stymphian bird. Or... S there we go. Yeah. All right, all right. Now we've got air support. Coming in here. Scopos. There's my little soldiers. So got, you see what I'm doing? I'm doing a pincer attack, Barry. Do you see that? Pincer attack. I think of these things, you know. Right, let's get the Dryads up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Dryad tree... Has to go on green. So I'm going to put the Dryad tree here. And now what I can do is I can build... Dryads. Let's get them over here. Oh, what? Here she comes, here she comes. Scopos. Yuji. Look at them. Yuji. Mark. They're like Ents from Lord of the Rings. Scopos. Yuji. Okay, let's see. The, the, the Chinese have got to be in this corner. Yuji. There's my bird. The bird is slow, I have to say. It's okay. Yuji. Oh, ah, ah. Yuji. right, there we go. Villagers, look. Yuji. Yuji. Attack! Yuji. So now we can start to attack their buildings. They'll probably send defences at this point. Ma. Bear in mind I've got spiders Yuji. still to um, still Yuji. to deploy. Yuji. Oh, I've met their little villages, look, their little A house. A poro frost. Oh, these towers are attacking me. Oh, he's doing something, look. He's doing something, I don't know what that is. But I need to get out of there, because I'm being attacked by the tower. What I want to do is come south of the tower. Like here. Oh, look, he's made a little garden. I'm going to go into the corner. Man. Now what I could do, I've got a sneaky plan. You ready for this? I'm going to move my Dryads down there, but I'm also going to take a villager. I'm going to take a villager and I'm going to put the villager there. And I'm going to see if I can take that. I'm going to build that right inside his base. Let's stop him producing gold. He doesn't appear to have anything that's... Oh, I can build two Dryad trees. No way. Well, that's his first mistake, was not to stop me there. 
Oh, I've got all five Schloss triads Schloss. anyway. It's hmm. lost. That's okay. He did, I, mean, I did put it on easy. It's I'm lost. not expecting much in the way of... Oh, he's building something there. Look, what is that? Something's going on there. I don't know what that is, but anyway. Yuji. Oh, he's got a base all the way up here. Oh, look at all these barracks. These are rows and rows and rows of barracks. I'm going to put a spider's nest right inside these farms there, look. Ah! Here they come. Oh, what happened? Why did they die? I need to get rid of these towers. That's what I need to get rid of. It's the towers that are attacking first. Let's get Mongol villager along here. Maybe we could win this quite early, I reckon. I could also build a palace. Right. Let's build a palace right there. Yuji. 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 Boring. I'm going to get these guys on this tower. If we can take out these towers. Send in more. Get that tower down. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, the towers are down. He doesn't stand a chance. I've already won. It's good night, China. Meanwhile, this little guy's building a palace. Let's kill his ability to do to make food. We're gonna get rid of all these farms. Let's just kill his farms. That's all I'm really interested in. Meanwhile, my air support is just I'm just going to put air support over these villagers. Oh, he's got crossbowmen coming in. Look. Oh, there's a monkey. He's got a giant monkey. Oh, that's Sun Wukong. That's the Monkey King. <gasps> the Monkey King killed all of my people. Oh, no. Get out of here. <laughs> Mark. I'm going to build a town centre. Right. Consolidate. Build a town centre. That monkey king was brutal. Can build more triads. I don't know what the. I don't know what that building is. Oh, it's a garden or something. I killed it. And a market. Let's kill his market. He's got soldiers over there, but they're not coming for me yet. You see the, the, the bird is flipping its wings and it's firing blades out of its wings. Interesting. I'm a thousand points ahead. I mean, I think ultimately... Oh, oh who's that guy? Jiang Shi. Oh no, Jiang Shi is brutal. I've got to get rid of him. He's healing. I think I did get rid of him though. He's got some heals going on there. I'm winning. Oof. Well, I was. There's another hero. Look. Uh oh, there's a dream. Come on. We are we are just winning this, by the way. Just. Oh look, I can make medium destroyers. Good only against buildings. Oh great. Alright. I'll make five of them. I'll make some more dryads. I took the fight to him. I'll also build another... Shall I build another tower? Yeah, I can build another tower. Let's just, like, mega defense this place. Uh-oh, I think they might be coming for me now. There's the spiders. Oh, that pulled him into the ground. Did you see that? 
Spiders just pulled them right into the ground. These guys are only good against buildings, so I'm going to counter at this point. Oh, they are actually. They're so good against Edge Ghost. His little guys are actually really angry. Your mistake for not choosing Rhea. Yeah, yeah. What I need is my little guy. Where's my little guy? Yuji. Right, I need villagers. Yuji. Yuji. Bure. Yuji. A four of frost. Yuji. Right, I need these guys to just destroy the house. A four of frost. Now that I've got this going, let's just destroy the house real quick. Which means he consistently cannot produce uh, villagers. Meanwhile, the villagers are coming. Yuji. A four of frost. Yuji. A four of frost. Burek. Yuji. A four of frost. I need to stop them from producing more soldiers. Right. Now I need a barracks. Yuji. in there. We can do this. We can still do this. Yuji. Ah, oh, he's dead. Look at all those soldiers dead. Still, we've built a little insurgency right behind these base. Look at that. Herr Joes. And what we can start to do is build cavalry, which I think will be the trick, as well as arch archers. I don't have much gold. That's okay, because now he's finished. I'll go and get this gold. Ah, see, without gold, I'm not allowed anything. So I need to be really careful at this point. <sighs> mm -hmm. Run myself aground there. Let's just put some spiders up, like, right here. He's gonna come on, come on. It only takes two spiders. Go, 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 go. Here they come. Oh, he got him, he got him. <sighs> right, let's see if I can pull these guys out with archers. There we go. Spider, spider. Scopos, Mark. Why didn't those spiders work? So disappointed in that. Anyway, I'm drawing them in. I'm getting rid of them. We can make this happen. I've got heavy archers, which seem to be doing the trick. Yeah, it's working. The spiders aren't very effective, I've noticed. Oh, I've turned them all into heroes. That was nice. Now they've got like mega bows. Yuji. He's going for my villagers there. Not a my watch, young man. Ha! Cavalry. Right. Now we're talking. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, my little guy survived. I'm going to get my little guy to build another tower. I said I wasn't going to take this to the end, but you know what? I can't, I can't stop. Herr Joes. Yuji. 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 Look at them just standing there while they're. Well, well. Beijing burns. Yuji. 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 Yu
fugir. Dilus com quem? Bura, Yuji. É por outro lado. Yuji. Slow. Bura, Yuji. 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 Come on, my little marmelo can survive. Yuji. É por outro lado. Now get the buildings. Go on. É por outro lado. Burek. E poro fras. Slo. Filos moke. No, no, no. Go Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Mark. Yuji. Don't go Burek. Mark. E slos. Skopos. E poro fras. Burek. E poro fras. E poro fras. To do their job. It's about separating them out, right? Recognizing what they're good at. Yuji. Slos. Yuji. Burek. E poro fras. Ilus moke. Ilus moke. Yuji. Yuji. Skopos. Yuji. Skopos. Mark. Yuji. E shlos. E poro fras. Skopos. E shlos. Yuji. Right, that's it. I'm destroying them now. I'm just slowly working Burek. my way up. Burek. Mark. Skopos. Yuji. Mark. Yuji. E poro fras. Burek. E poro fras. Yuji. Yeah. Yeah, I should take out the farms because the farms equal food, food equals villagers. But I'm also, at the moment, I'm trying to stop their barracks in the first place. So if I can just... Oh, there's another tower there. Look. Yuji. 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 That's not helping me. If I get rid of the farmers... I don't know how I don't know how long that's gonna last, but oh, I've got no gold. Why have I got no gold? Because these guys just have stopped producing. Look, uh oh, where's the next gold deposit? There. Diot. All right, I got you. I got you. Yuji, Yuji. No, don't lose the archers. Yuji. A poro fras. A poro fras. Yuji. Es los. Es los. Mark. A poro fras. A poro fras. Copos. Yuji. A poro fras. We got this. See, they're just as long as they're producing Skopos. soldiers, Dilus I'm moke. losing. Yuji. A poro fras. Yuji. Dilus moke. Dilus moke. Yuji. Seeing that, he is pouring his stuff into buildings. A poro fras. Come on. I need way more gold. There we go. I'm actually doing quite well considering I'm surviving on like five archers. Archers are really good. Gonna get myself five more. And I'm gonna get myself three of those and more of them. Mark. A poro fras. Yuji. A poro fras. A poro fras. Skopos. Yuji. Skopos. Yuji. Burek. Dilus moke. Come on. We got this. Not as easy as it looks, eh? Dilus moke. Oh, the tower got taken down, which is good. Dilus moke. Skopos. Yuji. Right, these boys are going to attack these. Dilus moke. Skopos. A poro fras. Skopos. Yuji. Yuji. A poro fras. Burek. Yuji. Dilus moke. Come on. Yuji. Okay, now Burek. we've got the powerhouses in taking out the buildings. Nice. Go on, lads. Burek. Dilus moke. Skopos. Okay, now Ma. let's take out the Eshlos. next barracks. I'm trying to stay away from that center building because that's the one Ma. that's got the... Yuji. The ability to shoot. Right, I got it. I can tell I've already got it because now he's not able to build anything. He keeps trying though. Ah, he managed to get that Wow. They just keep coming. Keep coming. A poro fras. 
Go boss. Deal is more okay. It's the stables. Ah, stables are a pain in the bottom. By the way, while we're just waiting on this happening and unfolding, anybody, have you watched the um, Oversimplified History series on YouTube? I watched the History of the Soviet Union Oversimplified this morning, and I also watched a History of the American Civil War Oversimplified. And they are a brilliant, brilliant little collection of videos on YouTube where they drastically oversimplify history using a cartoon system. I loved it, like really loved it. I learned more about the Soviet Union and Alexander and the revolution. I think it was the history of the Russian Revolution and, and it takes you right up to the Cold War. Uh, it includes Rasputin, like it was just brilliant. I'd strongly recommend it. A poro flask. Right, you know what I'm going to do now? Go post. I'm going to get in. A poro flask. This. Deal is okay. You see? A poro flask. He's got no soldiers left. And I. I'm just going to keep. I'm going to get Dreads as well. At this point. Herr Joes. Osto. Go post. Is lost. Mark. A poro flask. He's going to lose his town centre, and then that's it. <clears throat> Come on, we're almost there, boys. Get the three ads in on this. Get everything on that building. Come on. See, he's building more barracks over there already. He's, in fact, he's put up three. Yay! So his town centre's done. May I offer my surrender? Yes, at this point. Because all I'll do is I'll just, he'll just stop producing and I'll just have to wipe out the people. And so when the leader says, should I offer my surrender, for the sake of the innocent people, the farmers and the blacksmiths out there, yes. Victory is yours! And now you can have a look at the map. You can see where that sort of divide was. So there actually there was two gates in the middle there that we could have gone through. I didn't, of course, know that. So that was quite a quick one. I mean, that was simple and it was quite quick and we really didn't, I mean, I got, I was lucky I got this little basin at the back. Um, but that gives you an idea of how the game itself plays, unfolds and, and actually how you, you win one of them. Um, though admittedly, I didn't play that particularly well at all. So what that uh, leaves us now is to go to quit. And this time we're going to go to the editor. Now, I showed you the editor last time, and uh, but this is, this is the, actually the version that I fell in love with the editor in because, and this is the one that I remember so much. So again, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna say, we want all of this to grow. So we can grow this immediately and we can change what the pen looks like. Um, but for the moment, I'm just gonna keep it like this. We can also say that we want a, where's cliffs? Cliffs, 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 there. And I wanna just, now it's not that, I wanna do that. So we're just gonna add some cliffs and it's really, really lovely way of um, of just drawing a world is, is what you're ultimately doing. Bearing in mind that we're thinking about history and mythology in this particular instance. So we're just going to draw here. Um, and what I think we'll do is we'll actually do the hod gates, right? So I'm going to say that we had water. Now, this is great because what you can do is you can actually draw the water in and I think what we'll do is not Greek river we'll do Mediterranean Sea because that's what that was right in Greece so we're going to do the Mediterranean Sea I'm going to just what I can remember of the Hod Gates and the Greeks uh, versus the Persians although we don't have the Persians on this particular instance so we'll have to get that and then we'll make sure we'll make it mythological we'll imagine that there was mythology at play that day but we're going to take this we can make that deeper later um There we go, I'm going to make that the Mediterranean Sea, running along there. I'm going to try and remember from the movie 300. Let's see what we can do with this. 
I suppose it was a bit mythological according to that movie because they had like it was the first time they'd seen the rhinos, the, the war rhinos coming out of Persia and stuff. We could also do, if I'm right in saying on this map, we could do Alexander reaching the gates of Rome. Um, but that's more history than mythology. What's happened there? Why is that, why is that stopped? Ah, okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's just undo that. There we go. So that'll do. That's our little Mediterranean Sea. And what I want to do is, I think it was cliffs above, wasn't it? So we can now take the cliffs tool. Yeah, there we go. And I seem to remember, if we remember the movie, they were looking down at the sea. So we're just going to draw. We're just going to draw all of this out as if it was cliff tops. And I'm, don't worry, I'm going to paint the cliff tops at the top so that we can um, see what that looked like. Actually, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have a slightly lower piece for the hod gates. So we'll have it that the um, the Persians have landed here and they've made their way up into the mountains, which we'll just draw in a second. But in the meantime, they're going to get to this bit where it's all going to be like squashed inwards. There we go. And that's going to be the hot gates. Right in, like, there. There we are. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself some grass. So if I go to terrain now, not, uh, not that one, paint terrain. There we are. Nope, that's the paint and mask. Come on. That's it. And I'm going to make it Greek. Oh, just grass. Uh, we'll make it dirt grass down by the beach. Actually, we'll make it like... No, that's not enough. That's not... I think there. So we'll make that transition down by the beach. Then we'll grow it in a little. Then we'll grow it in a little bit more. And then we'll make it nice and lush. Oh, no, that's maybe not... I tell you what, let's keep it here as like a and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this super small so I'm going to say it's a circle and it's really small and then all I'm going to do whoops is I'm going to draw ah let's make it a circle and really small like that size and we're going to make it that and that is going to be our little hot gate that's where they um they're going to hold them off so let's see if we can do that. And then behind the cliffs is where we're going to have Greece. So let's have the cliffs coming up here. We'll have it coming out to here and then we'll have it coming around this little patch of beach there. So there's no way for the, because the enemy can't go up cliffs, but what they can do is go through any terrain that you make passable. So we're going to do that there. So that's going to work. I'm happy with that. We'll just decorate this out a bit. There we go. And then in here we can build the city of Athens or whatever it is they were heading for. Sparta. Um, okay. <coughs> All right. So now that we've added our terrain, let's add some trees. We're going to make it autumn time. We're just going to assume that it was uh, autumn time. We're going to add a few on the top there. We'll add some nice autumn trees, oak trees down here. Autumn's nice. Let's make it a nice autumn day. We're also going to have some just up there. And we'll have some right along the back there that just decorate the back of the map. There we go. All right. Uh, no problem, Savage. It's, it's wonderful. Particularly, my biggest use of it was for storytelling. I mean, I didn't bother with the whole playing. I mean, the kids got to play battle games, but it wasn't the point of my classroom work. The point of my classroom work, I'm just going to decorate this piece of beautify. Oh, there we go. That's the Mediterranean. There we go. Now we've got waves. How lush is that? Um, but the point for me was we were doing... Um, 
we were getting them to build scenes like this and getting them to transform those scenes into spaces that were researched based on what we thought uh, the battle might have been like or the life of Joan of Arc might have been like or, you know, whatever. So now what we can do is we can start to put objects in. So I'm going to place an object and what I want to do is... Now, it says player one. I now need to go to player data and I want to make player one who I need them to be. So player one needs to be the Greeks. So we're going to make that uh, Poseidon, for example. But we want player two who is going to be... Um, and we're only going to have player one and player two, so we only need to worry about player one and player two. Now we don't have um, we don't have the Persians, so we could either make it um, the Chinese or Kronos, maybe, or we could make it. I mean, they were kind of maybe uh, possibly Egyptian. Why don't we make it Ra? Yeah, why don't we make it Ra? Um, and click close. So now what happens is when you dictate what player you're placing down, you are going to, um, it, it, it chooses the right architecture. So we're going to go for buildings. Uh, no, actually, before we do that, we're going to go player two. Let's get our player two right. And let's get our uh, units. And what I want to do is, it's not easy to do this. I need to, because I'm not familiar with all the units. But what we could do is we've got Hippicons, we've got Heracles. We've got Heka Gigantes. I'll show you him in a minute. Gaia herself. There's Gaia. She's huge. Um, Harpies. Some sort of general. So we'll have him first. Uh, we've got Frost Giants, False Stags. But what I want are ships. And I'm not sure. Oh, there's monks. Mercenary Cavalry. Yes, we're going to have Mercenary Cavalry. Um, let's line these up. So there we go. That's our, that's our little Persian army coming together. We'll give them a couple of Minotaurs, because why not? Don't worry, we're going to give the Greeks the same. Uh, a mountain giant? No, I'm going to leave that for them. An Ornlu is a hero. Oh, look, there's a giant wolf. A Peltast. Let me just zoom in for a moment. Let me zoom in so we can see. There we go. Now I'm going to go up to units and I'm going to say Petrobolos. Oh, they're dying. Oh, I know why they die. Because they're mercenaries. They only last for a few minutes. So we can't have mercenaries. Oh, look, there's Odysseus. Now he's Odysseus is going to be my player one. Odysseus is going to be the guy that is like the hero of the story at this point. In front of the Hod gates. We're also going to have... Um, not an Osiris, an Onagar, no, Pent Pentecotter. Well, almost. That was almost the ship that I was looking for. I can't think there's a portable ram. Very nice. All right, little guys. Um, Prometheans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a couple of Prometheans for the Greeks. Don't even know what they are. Uh, let's go for Promethean offspring. Oh, yeah, little baby ones. This is what really happened back then. Nobody talks about it. It was never written down in the history books, but this is what really happened. We had ravens and Santa. Get out of here. There's a giant Santa with a club. I didn't know that. They've added him. There's the rock that I was telling you about earlier from Jason and the Argonauts. Um, scarabs, serpents. Oh, there's a giant scarab. Imagine that coming at you. Um, satires. I really like satires, actually. Let's have some satires with the Greeks. Um, a sitting tiger, hmm. a slinger. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take lots of slingers. Actually, that's not true. Let's. I think slingers. We can just get rid of them. Just by delete, 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 select and deleting. Then we're gonna go back to slingers, and we're gonna make the spearmen. That's what we want. The Greeks were brilliant with spearmen, right? And so we're going to have them, like, let's just get loads of them. Because there wasn't that many. Was, is that right? There was like only 100 versus whatever. 
the R. Oh, there we go. Right. So let's make this player two. So our um, our Persian ships arrived on the shores. Too many to count. Do you remember the movie? Fleets and fleets of these ships. Let's zoom out now. Oh, not that one. Let's, um... Needs to be that one. So there's our Persian ships that have landed. Uh, and then we're going to go to... Back in here, right? Let's get our... We need little swords or something. Swordmen. Talk, not talk so tease. Theseus. Let's get Theseus in there with his sword. And, in fact... That's what we need. We need Theseus as a hero. We're going to make him player one. And we're going to put Theseus at the front. And in a bunch of... Because let's face it, they were heroes. So there's our little... Um, terracotta warriors from the Chinese collection. Yeah, very good. Spider eggs, spearmen, uh, titans, triremes. Oh yeah, there's... So let's put some of these in player two because we're just painting up the picture. They're not actually going to be functional, but we'll put some triremes in as well. See the reflections on the water once you've done them. Lovely. Um, we don't want Valkyries or Vermilion Birds. Uh, vultures, Wadgets, no. Let's give our number ones, let's give them a... There was a giant, wasn't there? Did I see a mountain giant? Oh, there's an old man. Oh, I'll tell you who the old man could be. Let's make him player two. And the old man is our little traitor who leads them through the hot gates. Are they all facing the wrong way, Barry? Do you think so? I was, what, the ships? I don't think they're facing the, right, the wrong way. They've come in, haven't they? Maybe I'm wrong. A Peltast. Oh yeah, Peltasts. Look at the Peltasts. Uh, let's get player one. We're going to put a little range of Peltasts in. Okay. And we'll do another uh, one row of them and then that's it. That's all our Greeks. Because there was only a hundred. I reckon we've got about a hundred in there. And then I'm going to give them one giant, and that's going to be it. If I can find the giant. Oh, there's monkey, monkey king, mountain giant. There we go. It's like giant Hagrids. There we go. That's our, that's our Greeks. <laughs> um, <coughs> and then we're going to just get loads of player one units with swords. Player two, sorry, units with swords. Junk? Oh, a little junk ship. Pastist, no. Are they, have they got swords? Yeah, they'll do. So we're going to... Or Hetwari. No, Hepastists. Hep, Hepaspist. Hepasp oh, there's a Hydra. Get out of here, there's a Hydra. I'm not going to give them a Hydra, though. I'm going to give them... Because <laughs> we're going to play player two and we're going to see if we can defeat the others. Right, there we go. Do you think I'm do you think I've done too do you think I've done too much? Who's running from the battle? I don't understand who's running from the battle. I'm a lost. I think I might be... I think I'm getting confused. These guys are coming into the battle and these guys are coming into the battle and the ships are coming into that. I'm not sure. Anyway, maybe I'm not... Maybe I'm not following it. Okay. Right, there we go. That's all of our Persians coming into face. Our... 
player one's... Who's he? Hippocrates is a hero. Hersier is a hero. Oh, look at that. The Jarls. The Huskarls. So there's all the, the false stags. Oh, look at that. It's a big giant frost. Frost giant. Um, Greta Forkbeard. Wouldn't mess with her. Fanatics. Oh, those fanatics. They've got two swords. They'll do. So hang on. Well, who can I replace? Because I feel like I'm cheating here. No, no. We'll just add a row of them as well. There we go. And now we're going to play test. You all ready? Scenario. Play test the scenario as player two. Because we want to just march in as the um, thing. And we're going to go on moderate. Okay, here goes. Λέγε ορθός, έτοιμος. Πάνι, λέγε πάνι. Okay. Προσταγμα, ορθός, έτοιμος. Ορθός. So now we can play Λέγε, test. Πάνι. This is the great thing about it, is we can literally Προσταγμα, play ορθός. test. Oh, you can see them already πάνι. struggling. Λέγε, πάνι. Λέγε, They're πάνι. already struggling to fit. Έτοιμος. Βούλωμε. Just like Προσταγμα, in the movie. Βούλωμε. Λέγε, πάνι. Βούλωμε. Πάνι. Oh, πάνι. tell me it's going to work. Oh, they can't seem to make it through. It's maybe just a little orthos, bit orthos, too... Λέγε, oh, no, they can make it. Πάνι. Λέγε, there they go. Λέγε, Yay! Έτοιμο, and they can only make it through one unit at a time. Go on, go on. Έτοιμος, ορθός. Έτοιμος. Come on. There's not a whole lot happening there. Let's I think it might be that there's too much of a... I think it's too much. Let's try that again. All right, I wasn't sure if they were, Barry, but maybe they are. Oh, the Minotaur having a got one of our heroes there. And he's down. Yeah, that's not going to work. But it's wor it's kind of technically working because we can only the, the whole army is stuck. Look, they can't get through. And the Greeks have got them right where they want them. I think I should make it a little bit wider. Let's try this. Let's go quit. It just takes you right back to where you were. And then what we'll do is let's just. Um, yeah, look, I think that's the mistake, is that that's a, that's a lump, and it shouldn't be. So let's smooth this off. There we go, let's lump this off. And then what we can also do is, if I just go to building parts, and we go to buildings, uh, what's the Atlantis gate? The armory, mm, archery range, no, a barracks. Because we want to be player one in this case. So there, mm, a dock we don't need. A farm we don't need. The gates of Troy. That'll do. There we go. So this is Sparta right here. So we're going to put in the gates of Troy. And then we want... I think if we go down to wall. VW. Wall short wall. Wall Troy connector. There we go. Wall Troy long. So what we can now do is we can have like... We can build, technically, Sparta. It doesn't really matter what it looks like, because it's just, we're just mucking around, but... I'd have to have flattened all that out to have got it done properly, which is fine. Because now I'm going to get the wall Troy connectors. Oh, none of that's working. Right, okay, I do need to flatten it, but that's okay. Because there's a flatten tool, which is technically that one. And that brings all the walls down to the same height. There we go. And then what we can do is once we've flattened all the terrain, like there, we just smooth the edges. Maybe make some cliffs around it, that kind of stuff. It's super quick. The ability to be able to... Um, the ability to be able to uh, just draw very quickly and create a world. 
uh, what I'll do is I'll move this one over there. That's it. Move this one there. That one there. And then I'll get another one. And we'll put it in there. So even if they got through, they'd have to then get through the... Um, and then what we'll do is we'll pull that one back and that one in. There we go. Right. And then I can add just a few connectors. The connectors are fine. Oh, that's the wrong one. I need a Troy connector. Sometimes placing and then moving is what you need to do. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let's just place another one. Nice. Here we go. I don't need that. And I don't need that. There we go. So even if they got through, they wouldn't be able to get in to sputter. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little painting tool that I did last time, which was that one. And I'm going to say, we're going to take, there's Greek Road somewhere, which is lovely. Is it that one? Greek Road, look. And we can actually have like streets, city streets and things where we can then put buildings and marketplaces and stuff. We'll do that. Let's just get decorative, see what it looks like. There we go. So now we can put some buildings. We're going to do buildings and we're going to do a siege works. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, stable. Yes, we're going to have a stable right there. And then we're going to have a couple of sentry towers. We've already done a... Oh, no, we haven't. There's another type of stable, so we'll have a different one. There. Then we're going to do a storage pit. That's the wrong one. Temple. Ooh, look at that. Temple of... So now we can make our little city, which is sweet. Um, a military academy. Aha. Uh -huh. We're going to have a military academy right there. And a market. Every good city needs a market. So we'll have the market just as you go in. And then we're going to have a palace, of course. Boom, boom. Um, what else? Military barracks. We didn't have one of them. That's not ours. A manor. Yeah, we might as well have a manor in there. A few houses, little Greek houses. What a cool little city, right? I mean, imagine if you actually took the time to do what you're supposed to do with it. A shrine. Oh, yeah, look at that little shrine. Oh, how nice. We're also going to do... We've done military barracks. We did the thing. We did the house. A granary. Yes, a little granary for food over the back there. Uh, farms on the outside. <laughs> I get carried away. It's too easy with a game like this. There's our little farms. Um, fortress is too big to fit in there now, is it? Oh no, we could get a fortress in there. Uh, castle? Oh, castle's not ours, I think that's... Oh, an archery range, always. We should have a Greek archery range, although I think I'm running out of space. There you go. Right, there's our little town. Very lovely. There's there's Sparta. And then I'm going to take my little drawing piece again. I'm going to do Greek. The great thing about the drawing piece is you can do lava. Uh, you can do Hades flooring. You can do ice. Whoops. You can have different types of ice. Uh, you can make Norse roads. Uh, you can make marshlands. Um, what else have we got? There's more river marshes. You can make sand. Um, shoreline. Lots of different shorelines there. Tundra. Uh, underwater. You can do rocks. There's, uh, there's so many different things that you can do um, for textures just to create the world that you're, you're making. Um, but anyway, uh, I am going to get whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to do all... I'm going to go back to my paint terrain and I'm going to paint. What did I say? It was um, dirt, wasn't it? Grass dirt. 
and we're just going to grass dirt this a little bit more so we can funnel them out there. So that's it. We're now leading them through here where it's really quite wide until it gets into the hard gates at the end. Mythological edition. Uh, oh, absolutely, Barry. Absolutely. Like if you took the Percy Jackson books, you could make like any scene you wanted. You could, you know, the Percy Jackson, they have the mytho mythological camps. What do you think the mythological camps look like? What do you think it was like when Zeus attacked this place or whatever? So you could just, it's one of the big things I use it for is, is that sort of like storytelling. So when we're talking about um, Egyptian mythology or, or, or in particular Norse mythology is always a lovely one. Um, we can do... We can do Norse battles and things. I'm taking a historical one and sticking a twist on it, but we could have taken a complete, you know, mythological piece. Okay, right, let's see what this looks like then, knowing that our boys are better equipped than these boys. So let's go scenario, play test. Uh, we're going to put it on, let's keep it on easy. We're going to go as player to go. Okay. There's our guys. Come on, Persians. You know what to do. Greatly outnumbering the Greeks. Let's get them all in. I can't select them all at once. You can only select a certain amount. Here we go. Here they go. Yay! Charge! It's holding them all in there. Look, they can't get through. Rendering their numbers obsolete. Oh, we've lost a few Greeks, though. And they're throwing their spears just like they did. Boom. Come on. Ah. <coughs> it's working a little treat. Although my Prometheans aren't doing very much. Oh, here they come. More of them coming in. Their numbers are just obsolete. Right? There's nothing they can do back there. Up against a superior tactical army. All the satyrs down there with their goat's legs, look. Wonderful. Come on, lads, get in there and attack these boys. Come on. See, I'm trying to make them attack and they can't because the the computer is literally held up in the little hod gates. Ooh, I'm glad this little experiment worked. Uh oh, we lost a Promethean, but that's okay. What was the guy's name? The big, the big. He thought he was a god. The the, the Persian guy. Darius. Is it Darius of the Persians? I think it was Darius. Oh, we've lost another Promethean, but every time you lose one, they burst into two little ones. <laughs> Meanwhile, our Greeks are doing exceptionally well. Come on, lads. Get in there. Come on. Come on. I love it. We've got 92, 90. Oh, they've broken through the hard gates. Ah. No, they're just falling at the hands of the next range of heroes. Oh, we're down to 87, 86, 85. We still got the old man though, look, is that the old man? Yeah, the old man's still there. Somewhere. Here they come. Uh oh. Come on lads, get in there. 
just magic. 54, 53, 52. We've just, we're getting wiped out. But we're trying. <laughs> uh oh we're down to three two one no and then the old man died at the end defeat unbelievable so i'm really pleased with that first of all we were show we were able to show you how the whole game worked and create a small if bizarre victory um using gaia but secondly um, we were able to show you how the storytelling aspect and that that recreation of history was able... I mean, we just chose one historical piece and put a, a nice uh, twist on it. But you could go for pure mythology. And the great thing about that is you can select from any one of the gods. So there's the Chinese, the Norse, the Egyptians, uh, technically Gaia, um, Mother Nature, and also um, uh, the Greeks. And then we were able, you're able to play around with frost giants and Odin and you like, you get all the gods, you get all the heroes, you get all the buildings, you get all the embellishments, you can put birds in your map. I mean, I didn't show you that, but I, I did last week. If we go into nature and we put a couple of berry bushes and then we can put a crowned crane uh, standing there and we can put some dogs and some fish. If we go back to the sea, we can put fish in the sea. You can see them there now. Um, we can have whales, gazelles. I mean, not that gazelles, but there's the Gaia tree. Um, we can also put in flowers and you can actually go and add uh, flowers around the place. Elephants, if you were gonna do Alexander, you can have war elephants um, as well as wild ones. Um, crocodiles, like you could do all sorts of baboons. You can do all sorts of stuff. And that's just the top part. I have not there's lizards, monkeys, uh, rams, parrots, pigs, orcas. So we can put orcas in the sea. There we go. And the orcas will swim around the sea there beautifully. I mean, just building worlds is, you know, we talk about Minecraft as the ultimate world builder, but this is, this is similar. This is just like the freedom to be able to create what you want to create and how you want to create it um, based on things you've learned. It's an assessment tool. I keep going back to this with games and game-based learning as one of the one of the main ways that we can use games is as an assessment of comprehension. Show me what you've learned. Give me a demonstration of what you think it was going to be. It was like back then, um, and you can do that with all sorts of games, not just these ones, but you can do that with all sorts of, um, you know, First World War, Second World War games. You can do it with the Age of Empires series, the Age of Mythology game. You can do it with Minecraft. There's just so many games that allow you to say to a student, "Show me what you mean." Show me what you've learned this week. Show me how that sunk in. Um, wolves, whales. Oh, there's whales. Look, some blue whales. I tell you what I'll do. I'll place them and then we'll go in. We'll zoom in and have a look. There they are, look, coming up for air. Um, and maybe it's not violent. I mean, we did a battle tonight, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a day in the life of. What was it like to be in the Oregon Trail? and cross the Oregon Trail using Age of Empires 3? Or what was it like to live in the land of fruit and flowers according to Chinese mythology and the mountain of fruit and flowers um, and the monkey king Sun Wukong and the journey west? What was it like to take the Buddhist um, scriptures from Buddhist India to what would eventually become Buddhist China in the, um, in the ancient days? Uh, that sort of stuff. Um, so, so really, just lovely. I, I, I've, I've loved this game and been using it in schools for, well, I mean, certainly over a decade. It was one of the first games I ever used, Age of Mythology specifically, Age of Empires as a follow-up. And um, I'd strongly advise, uh, if you can, if this is your thing, get a hold of it on Steam. Um, you can pick it up for, I think, 15 British pounds uh, for, the, for Age of Mythology. Um, and go play go make worlds and when you're finished if your scenario works you can go to after you're finished you can go to you can change the lighting so we could go to lighting and say that we want it to be anatolia or we want it to be cloud or we want it to be dawn they attacked in the morning or they attacked at dusk 
and the sun was going down. Like you can add all the lighting effects, etc. Um, you can add triggers so that when a unit reaches a certain point, something spawns, just like you would in Minecraft. Um, you can go into, but when you're finished, you go into, you can build cinematics, etc. But when you're finished, you can go save as, and you can save it as a scenario. And that scenario can then be taken out. It can be pulled from your file as an SX, SCX, just from the, 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 the back end. And that SCX can then be shared. People load it. So people then go load. And would you like to load a scenario you say yes i'd like to load norge which someone else made for you and you load their scenario so it's kind of like minecraft you just share a save file and you start sharing those scenarios and it's lovely and you can get real detailed with this stuff like pr proper detailed villages flowers rocks um you can build specific people's houses what was it like to um what were the camps and the forts like for lewis and clark as they stopped um, I can't remember the name of the first one they stopped at. But anyway, they stopped at one. It was their first winter. What did that look like? Um, that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to finish there and uh, and say goodnight. But hopefully this has... Oh, there's forbidden units. Look. Ooh. Ah, right. You can dictate what a forbidden unit is. And it means it can never be made in this scenario. Just in case students think, well, I'll just make a giant. And you don't want them to make giants. You can forbid them, which is great. Um... So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. I'm just going to go to um, chat for this one. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in to another Play Matters Live. We've gone as close to two hours, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's close to two hours on this one, which is great. Um, and hopefully Age of uh, Mythology is something you're interested in. Join our Discord, discord.gg forward slash Play Matters. The link is in the chat. Um, and... Yeah, I'll see you next week where we're going to be looking at some other uh, town builders and some other kind of like top down um, or isometric looking things. We're going to, um, I think we'll look at Cliff Empires next week. Let me confirm that in a tweet or something, but I'm, I'm planning to do Cliff Empires. I've been Frodo Baggins for the night. <laughs> Um, it's been a pleasure and I will see you next week. Adios everyone.